Hi y'all, this is the Oklahoma Grammy. Today I'm gonna to make you a no-bake cherry cream cheese pie. It is very, very simple and it's very good. And the best thing about this is this pie can be made ahead of time and you can store it in your refrigerator or you could put it in your freezer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need a graham cracker crust and you're going to want to save this little top. It's very important that you keep it. We're going to use one can of condensed milk. We're going to use a 15 ounce can of cherry pie filling. We're going to use a fourth of a cup of lemon juice. We're going to use one tablespoon of granulated sugar. We're going to use one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we're going to use one eight ounce block of cream cheese, which I've already opened because I have a hard time opening them. And we're going to need a medium sized bowl, your mixer, your little paddle, and a spoon. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take and mix up the cream cheese until it's real good and fluffy. And then we're going to add the sugar, the vanilla, and the lemon, uh, the lemon juice to it. And we're going in our uh, condensed sweetened milk. We're going to add that to our cream cheese and everything and then we're going to put it in the pie shell and then we're going to do a quick set which is what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the uh add everything to my pie crust and put it in my freezer and i'm going to leave it in there for two hours it will set the cream cheese mixture up and then i could put the uh, cherry pie filling on top of it and that is an easy way to do that way you'll have it ready for dinner tonight okay here we go So, I'm going to put our cream cheese into our bowl. I do it like this, that way I don't get this all over me. It's just not one of the things I want. So, and then we take our mixer and then we mix it up. This will take a few minutes. Wasting up that cheese. You want to make sure that your cheese is at room temp. And that's as easy as it is. Now we're going to open up our condensed sweetened milk and we're going to pour it in. It's thick, so, you know, take your little paddle and go up in there and try to get it all out as you can. Get it off the lid. As you can, t as you can see, it is really thick, so you want to try to get as much out of that can as you can. Okay. Now we're going to add our sugar lemon juice and our vanilla and then we're going to mix it up and you want to make sure that all of that cheese where you don't see any chunks in it, and that's going to take just a few minutes to get done. And if you have to use your little uh, flat whisk, I mean your flat handled spatula, and scrape down your sides, which I'm going to do in just a minute. You 
want this to be very, very smooth. So let me go ahead and I'm going to scrape down the sides. Because you want to make sure you get all of that cheese really, really soft where you don't have any uh, sticking. Make sure you come around the bottom of your bowl to make sure that you get it all off the bottom of your bowl. there is to this and now we're going to put it in our, our pre-made pie crust and you definitely want to make sure that this sets up before you put your uh, pie filling on top of it if not your pie filling is just going to drip to the bottom of your uh, pie crust And just kind of smooth it out. And that's all there is to it. Now we're going to take and put our lid over the top. We're just going to let it sit there. We're not going to take and hold it in or anything and we're going to put this in our freezer for about two hours so now that our pie is set in the oven i mean in the freezer for two hours i'm going to go ahead and take the top off and what we're going to do is we're just going to take and put our cherry pie filling on top of it now you could use any any brand of cherry pie filling that you would like this is just what I have on hand and just kind of smooth it out over the top, getting it over to the sides. I would recommend that you do this like the night before uh, you're going to serve it the next day and uh, or do it that morning that you're going to serve it that night. Now this does freeze really well and it will stay for up to a couple of weeks in your freezer. So just make sure you put your lid back over it and crimp in the sides. And uh, Whenever you go to serve it, take it out about 45 minutes before you go to serve it. That way it'll come back to room temperature and it will be easier for you to take and slice and to be able to serve. Now, if you like my video, please take and give it a big like and I'll see you next time. Bye.